Good evening. Welcome to another edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show. My name is Leon Jones. This evening's topic, I'm going to talk about the miseducation of God. The topic of tonight's video is the miseducation of God. Now, why is this important? Because as African Americans, we tend to have a lot of belief in Jesus. This is why we are very spiritual and we look out at our lives through the eyes of God. However, I've always said the pastors really don't preach about the kingdom, God, man, woman, and child. They preach to the congregation based on who the members are. It's the congregation that carries that pastor. But one must understand when it comes to God, the person that we pray to is not what it always seems. But we've been told that Jesus looked a certain way. And when it comes to African Americans, we basically have this distaste, this disrespect for one another. We don't like each other. Now, there are a number of reasons. Self-hate is one of them. Insecurity is another issue. We're also envious and jealous of one another. But those are social issues. What I'm doing is a video on religion and spirituality. It's very important because African Americans were very emotional people. Not saying we're not logical, but we tend to view everything through an, an intrinsic bubble because we believe that God is going to get us to the place called heaven. Now, when I break it down, one of the main reasons why black people hate each other so much today basically stems from the horrible mis- education that we've all received about ourselves from schools and religions since we were youths about who God really is. For instance, most black people who are my age, younger and older, have been brought up as Christians and taught that a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes by the name of Jesus is God. That ideology is false for three reasons. Number one, the Jesus that we read about in Bibles today is not God and never claimed to be him. Now, this comes from Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 to 17. He is the only son of God, which he only claimed to be. Also, the letter J does not exist in Hebrew and didn't come into the English language until 500 years ago. Therefore, there was never a man to walk this earth claiming to be the Messiah by the name of Jesus. The true name of the biblical Messiah was Yahusha, not Jesus. Also, Yahusha or Yah, who the world calls Jesus, was born in Northeast Africa, had woolly hair full of dreadlocks, and was a Nazareth from birth. And at the end of the day, what I'm saying, Jesus was black. Now, this ideology that Jesus was God came from a pagan Roman Catholic church during the 3rd and 4th centuries who incorporated the Trinity belief system. That's three gods in one person of the ancient Greeks and Egyptians. Just like today, the original Roman Catholics were pagans and worshipped the false gods of other nations. So when they formed the religion of Christianity, in the year 325 A.D., they included the pagan customs and worship practices from other nations and replaced their gods with Jesus. This is why we think Jesus is God today. Now, the myth that Jesus was a white man came about during the 15th century when Pope Julius Caesar II hired the painter Michael Angelo to paint the white images of the main biblical characters in the ceiling of the famous Sistine Chapel of the Vatican City in Italy. 
Now, among these paintings were the images of Jesus the Christ, who was falsely painted in the image of the Pope's son. Caesar Borgia, prior to all the images of Jesus and the rest of our biblical ancestors, were black. Now that I have exposed the myth of God being white, let's take a look at how these lies have made us hate ourselves as African Americans. Now, in his book, The Valley of the Dry Bones, Dr. Windsor wrote the Afro-Israelites during slavery served the slave masters physically and mentally. They learned the psychology and the values of white supremacy. The proponents of white supremacy in America endured, or let's say endeavored to justify slavery by saying that the blacks were uncivilized, they weren't Christians, they used the same rationale to justify white supremacy. Now, in the process of time, the black man began to believe in the superiority of the white man's system. He bowed to the white man, served him in every aspect of his life, and worshipped him as God. Now, moreover, the masters painted a white Jesus and gave it to the black man to serve as God. And as a result, it was easy for the black man to obey and believe in the white man without question. Now, anyone who knows black history that Dr. Windsor's account of how a white God was presented to our enslaved ancestors is an established fact. Therefore, by the slave masters forcing their images of a white God upon black slave, it subconsciously made our ancestors associate whiteness with superiority and blackness with inferiority. Now, this made black people start viewing themselves as second-class citizens or a second-class race of people, which made it easier for the master to control his slaves. Now, after slavery was ended, the majority of black people still carried the image of God being white and that white people are better than them in their own minds, and they passed that teaching down to their children, and that's what we got today. This is why today, although we are 150 plus years removed from slavery, many of our people still believe a picture of white Jesus, or they still have a picture of white Jesus hanging in their home. Therefore, since the majority of black America has subscribed to the white man's system and the white man's religion of Christianity, the majority of black America internally views themselves as inferior to whites, which makes them look at their own people as inferior. To sum this section up, I will leave you with these words of the late Carter G. Woodson from his classic book, The Miseducation of the Negro. And he said this, If you can control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his action. When you determine what a man shall think, you do not have to concern yourself about what he will do. If you make a man feel that he is inferior, you do not have to compel him to accept an inferior status for he will seek it himself. Now, if you look at what I've just interpreted, many of African American people dislike each other, and this is only one component. There are other components because of the miseducation of God. We have been bamboozled by thinking God looks one way but in essence, he's another way. And this is because our identity was stripped from us during slavery. And today, and in generations past, we never even went back to check our history. And history is very important when you are African American. A number of us don't even know where we came from, and we don't care. Why? Especially today, because we in our minds, tend to be making all this money for social status. 
But at the end of the day, we don't own anything. And we still live in a system that we didn't create, but we've been indoctrinated by the system. This is why it's very difficult for us to get ahead. And the one aspect that we believe in, Christianity, it wasn't created by us either. It was created by Roman Catholics. And I grew up in a Roman Catholic church. And the Catholics, they celebrate all of these pagan holidays. This is why I'm not a big fan of Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, but black people tend to serve these holidays. And they don't understand that these aren't our holidays. We didn't create them. We'll go out on Christmas, just like the white people, and buy gifts. We don't even know why Christmas exists. We've only been told. And what I'm telling you as black people, you need to pick up a book and start reading history because we are in a system that hasn't done us any good. But too many of us are too lazy. We become the house Negro or the sellout. And why do I say a number of us are sellouts? Because we allowed ourselves to be taken in by this system. And this is why I believe integration took place as well. Because if we really wanted to separate, we could have a long time ago and had our own culture. You see the other races of people, the Asians, the Latinos, yeah, they'll live, they'll live in a system, but they own their own businesses, they worship religions, they're Christians. And I'm not saying some of them don't bow down to Jesus either because they do as well. Most minorities have been living in this country under paganism. Easter is another holiday. So what I'm saying when it comes to the miseducation of God, black people are still being miseducated. And I'm not saying all churches are to blame, but there are a number of them that I have to blame, particularly the ones in the African-American community. Church is supposed to be about educating black people about God. But today, churches have helped in the dysfunction of African American people. In fact, what you hear in the churches goes against the Bible. I believe that if you understand the Most High and you understand the kingdom and you follow God's laws and God is The Most High is Yah, not Jesus. And when I say Yah, he was a his, he, Hebrew Israelite. Most of us know that. But guess what? You don't hear it in a Christian church. And overall, when it comes to Christianity, it stems from Roman Catholicism. All these other churches that you have today, these denominations, the Lutheran Church broke off of Roman Catholicism. Baptists broke off of Roman Catholicism. But Roman Catholicism, known as pagan Roman Catholicism, is a white man's religion. We just follow it in different ways. But again, if you go into every church, you don't hear them say, Yah. You hear them say, Jesus. Now, the Catholic Church practices the Trinity. Most of these other churches don't. Now, the Trinity that I will tell you about is the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. That means three gods in one. Well, how could you have three gods in one for one God? If you believe in the Most High, you don't have to believe in Christianity because Christianity 
is a flawed religion. It is not the religion of African Americans. But we keep celebrating these holidays and we have this belief that if we celebrate white Jesus, we're going to get to the gates of heaven. But at the end of the day, Christianity was another indoctrination to make us feel inferior. And guess what? Today we feel inferior. That's why we have a lot of self-hate issues. So one of the components to why African-American people hate each other is from the miseducation of God. And if you don't believe me, look around you. Now there are some other components I will discuss in upcoming videos. But keep in mind, when you go into these churches as black people and you worship, you're not worshiping Yah, the Most High. You're worshiping white Jesus. And at the end of the day, Jesus was a black man. And if you don't believe me, do some research yourself. But at the end of the day, Christianity is another form of white supremacy. And it keeps us spiritually enslaved. And that's my commentary for this edition of the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show for this evening, Tuesday, July 17th, 2018. You can tune into the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Blog Talk Radio. Guess call the number is 215-383-5785. If you like my videos, please share and subscribe to the 411 Talk Zone Radio Show right here on YouTube so I can continue to give you quality information for educational purposes from a professional and mature perspective. Now, on my YouTube channel and blog talk radio, I don't do debates, controversial issues, or emotional issues, although some of the issues may be sensitive, and that's based on how you receive the information that I am presenting. Because what I'm presenting is therapeutic and self-awareness videos to educate you about how the real world works. This is why I don't engage in drama and or unnecessary bickering, because it is counterproductive. If you have the tools to how God works in your life, you're going to understand that when it comes to Christianity and spirituality as African-American people, it's not what you thought it was when you were growing up. Once you get into looking up the information for yourselves, you will change your perspective on religion. Because when it comes to the most high Yahusha or Yah, that God that I just mentioned, Yah, was a black man. And you would not have known that if I didn't tell you. Because when it comes to having knowledge, you will have power. And if you have a topic, a new YouTube channel, or business that you would like for me to discuss on YouTube or Blog Talk Radio, please feel free to email me at lej6521 at gmail.com. And if you have a comment, please leave your comment in the comment section under the video. But make sure that your comments are pithy, no bloviating, pettifogging, or filibustering, if you wish to opine. Now that's it for this video. Till next time. My name is Leon Jones. Remember, please be gentle and respectful to each other and have a wonderful and blessed night. God bless you.